let's make do a the layout for a mug. Uh, this time I'm gonna do it in Microsoft Word because a lot of people have that and it's easy access. So what we want to look at here is the requirements for it. So we need seven and a half inches long by three inches high. And then it will be part of it will be facing the front and part of it will be facing the back. And that template there sort of uh, illustrates where things are placed. So what we want to do is go to Microsoft Word and then we'll just it by default comes up with a letter size document. Now we want a document that is the size that was uh, described there. So what we do is go to uh, page layout and size. And we're going to go to more paper sizes and we're just going to enter the size that we want. So we want that at 7.5 inches by 3 inches. And we're not going to worry about the margins on this because we're just going to ignore the margins and put the picture over the whole thing. So we'll just click OK there. And we're going to try this photo here. So we can just drag that right into our Word document. And then we can scale it grabbing the corners. We want the picture just filling the entire uh, document. Uh, so right now it's with it's in line with the text in there so we can't uh, m easily move it around. So if we right click on that and then click on uh, text wrapping we'll say we'll put it behind text. Okay. Once we've done that it's free to move around and it would be moving around behind any text that's already there. So to get this shape we're, uh, and still fill it, uh, we're going to end up cropping part of the document. Okay, so here we can see the corners. We're going to need to enlarge it so that the entire length of our document is filled. Okay, so that should be there. And that's not a bad composition there, but I actually wanted to see a bit more of this water here. And that's where I'm going to end up putting a little bit of text. So we've got a photo that should make for a really nice mug. Uh, now, you could just normally edit text in your Word document after this, but instead, I to move it around more easily, we want to go to the insert menu and then just insert a text box. We'll just take a plain text box. Oh, and that has just replaced our photo because it was selected. So we're going to need to undo that. To undo is control Z. So our picture comes back and we need to make sure that our picture is not selected. So I clicked well outside of the area. The picture should not be selected now. So we're just going to try it again. Insert a text box. Now that's come up over top of the picture. And I'm just going to put a caption for where this is. This was Van Dusen Gardens uh, and that was in 2011. So I'm going to want this text to be in white over top of that blue water area. So I'm going to go back to the home menu and I can change my text color here to white. Now on our white box there it doesn't show against it, but then if we right click on the box we can format the text box. So now we want no color for the outline and for the fill color, we also want no color. So then it'll be a clear box against our photo. So now if we grab the outline of it there, no, we missed, we move the picture. We'll go Control Z again to undo that. And back to selecting our text box. We can move that here. I like it in that blue area. I want the text box a little bit larger. 
And then I'm going to make this text bold and a bit larger so it stands up out a bit more. That's a bit too much, so we'll try 16 points. That's good. And we can move that to exactly where we want. I'm happy with that. So now what we want to do is save our file and we'll just go to business now and project material and we'll call it Van Dusen Mug. Then um, to send it for printing we want to uh, create a PDF file. Uh, so we go save as PDF or XPS. It's defaulting to pay PDF in this case. It's going into our project folder and we'll publish that there. And now let's come up with a PDF file that's ready to send to business now for creating the mug. So then we can just close that and we go back to Oops, I just, okay, we go back to the Business Now website. We want to go to the upload page. That's what we started in the background there. And we have a drag and drop files here. And our mug is in this folder here. We just drop it on there, fill in the information, and click Send. Uh, so we've uh, created a mug in just a few minutes.